Uh, so uh, today I'm going to report our recent progress on uh, in uh, preclinical uh, animal models, uh, how we use the focus ultrasound to enhance the delivery of a large molecule bevacizumab uh, into the brain for the glioma treatment. So uh, I, I'm not going to talk about the detail of, of the blood and bear opening. Uh, but uh, I'm going to talk about the strategy, how the blood and bear opening uh, apply to the tumor. Because uh, in the tumor core, there are the blood and barrier already not exist. So the strategy, the right strategy we think uh, is to target on the uh, tumor per peripheral. Those reg edema regions already uh, uh, tumor cell infiltrate. So uh, there's also the tumor regions that always recur and uh, a patient do not get uh, good uh, prognosis. So I think uh, the truly target of the focus of Chota should uh, put the energy on those green regions, not the, the red one. And uh, previously, uh, many uh, groups talked about uh, uh, various kinds of uh, uh, therapeutic molecules, uh, chemo agents uh, delivery into the brain tumor uh, to against uh, this disease. Uh, so uh, for example, like the small molecules or the uh, large molecule like the lipodox or herceptin. Her her uh, but uh, it's never been tried on the bevacizumab, also called the vastin. So Avastin is a uh, anti-angiogenic monoclonal antibodies. And uh, it is already FDA approved because it uh, is a uh, positive MR response. But unfortunately, it failed in progression-free survival improve uh, due to a, uh, we call a vascular normalization effect. Uh, because uh, the Avastin also fixed the, the abnormal vessels. So when the vessel being fixed, the blood brain barrier becomes a, a back. So it becomes a dilemma when you try to uh, penetrate the large molecule into the, 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 the tumor cell. Uh, so uh, the strategy uh, of us is to uh, try to combine with the focus ultrasound because it's just the, the niche of the focus ultrasound to enhance those uh, normalization vessels uh, get continuing penetration of the bevacizumab vastin into the uh, glioma tri uh, tumors. So um, we mimic the uh, traditional uh, clinical uh, administration of the vastin. We totally give five weeks. And, uh, but uh, the difference is that we combine it with the focus ultrasound together. And uh, the frequency we choose is 0.5 megahertz. And uh, we combine with the Sonoview uh, as a conscious agent. And two uh, sonication exposure of 0.4 and 0.8 megapascal was, was tested. And two kinds of in vivo imaging we, we test. One is a uh, dynamic contrast enhanced MR, and another is a radio label uh, PET imaging. For contrast enhanced MR, uh, we use the gadolinium as a, a surrogate to, to monitor, to mirror uh, the, the uh, distribution of the, the drug. But in the radio label uh, PET imaging, we truly monitor the drug because we we conjugate those radio tracers together with the Avastin. So it's the true uh, drug distributions. We, we try to see how correlate with uh, these two. And uh, we also quantitate the, the drug concentration by using uh, HPLC and also the Western blood to uh, confirm the uh, expression of the protein. So this is the result. Um, so on the left, we, we saw uh, from the DC MRI, there are many indicators. Uh, for example, like contrast intense T1 indicators, uh, area <coughs> under the curve, and K trends or VE. It uh, shows a very good correlation with the uh, drug concentration as well as the distributions. And we also moved to see the uh, uh, gadolin, uh, I'm sorry, the, the radio label Avastin uh, PET imaging. We found uh, it can clearly show that how the Avastin been distributed in, in the brain. For up the upper panels, we, we saw in control animals, we do not see any Avastin penetrating leaking into. The, the, the brain, but uh, after we treat uh, using the ultrasound, we could see very clearly that the, the, the Avastin distribution can be increased. So uh, when compared with uh, different uh, pressure levels, the 0.4 megapascal 
can boost the concentration level to 5.7. And uh, using the 0.8 megapascal, we can boost the concentration to about 56. There's a uh, large increase uh, of the avastin delivery into the brain. So we next test the, uh, we, we confirm the effect is coming from the angiogenesis uh, suppression. So we use the CD31 to, to stand the, the vessel, and we confirm after we use in the combined with the focus ultrasound, we indeed we suppress the, the, the angiogenesis. And uh, this is the tumor progression control. We use the T2MR to do the uh, tumor follow. We found that the only uh, very effective uh, group is to uh, uh, combine the uh, avastin with the focus ultrasound. And the last slide is to show you how is the survival being improved. I think this is a very uh, significant improve. Uh, when we compare with the focus ultrasound only, it, it, it comes out to not uh, do any help at all. But uh, when we uh, give the bevacizumab, uh, we found the median survival can improve about uh, 50%. But after you combine with the focus ultrasound together, you can boost the uh, median survival improve about 135%. So I think it's a really good, uh, good improvement. So the conclusion is that focus ultrasound blood and opening can significantly enhance the anti-angiogenic monoclonal antibody deliver. And when we combine the focus ultrasound, we think the mechanism is coming from the, uh, when the vascular normalization, we can still uh, give the uh, uh, avastin penetration, penetration into the brain tumor. So that, that's why we, we think uh, it, it get the benefit uh, to treat the glioma. Thank you very much. Very, very quick. For, thank you for the nice presentation. A normalization, a therapist based on normalization theory, they say they, they require very, they have very specific window for effective therapy. How uh, your blood brain barrier opening is uh, compared with this window? What, what time did you decide to do the blood brain barrier with respect to this effective time window? Yeah, uh, the, the procedure is to combine the ultrasound every time we deliver the avastin. Uh, so we did not exactly measure uh, how we correlate, exactly correlate with the clinical usage. So uh, that, that's the part we, we need to confirm later. Thank you. Okay.